hi hello once again so in this video you will see how pixel depth uh, uh, can be used okay now in this uh, you you can see there are two colors one is blue and one is uh, red the more you go closer towards the mesh uh, the red is prevailing more you go far from the mesh the blue is prevailing please like this video if you find it helpful and informative and yes subscribe to our channel for more updates okay fine so let us create a new uh, material in the name of pixel depth okay so here we need two colors uh, so three vector and uh, we need uh, something called pixel depth you type pixel depth so here we are we get the, the pixel depth now along with the pixel depth we need couple of other things you know uh, like uh, subtract and uh, then one vector so we will uh, go through what is the subtract addition division you know in a separate uh, uh, video the detail of it for time being let us connect uh, pixel width with a and uh, that one vector with uh, b now you have to choose lerp now what is lerp you know lerp will interpolate both these uh, uh, colors uh, so let us connect a and uh, the other one to b and uh, you know the subtracted uh, with the alpha now let us choose two colors so let me make it red a sort of yeah so here we are red and uh, for other color possibly you know we can make say green fine so here we are and uh, let me connect before saving yes so let's save it so what you get is is a blue material now we have to change the this vector so let me put some figure out here and this figure will determine you know when uh, when uh, this object is this much unit far it will show this color okay so let us apply this onto our mesh after saving yeah so this is okay so here we are so now app, let me apply it over here and over here okay now you can see uh, the more we go it becomes blue the closer we are it becomes red uh, that is how it it it, it works now uh, the distance will depend upon what is the figure that you have entered in that you know single vector um, so the moment you cross that unit the color will change abruptly the color will change and uh, within that the color will remain the same okay now let me add some you know texture to it and see this is the moment you know i added uh, instead of uh, different color uh, instead of second color i added a, a sample texture uh, which is you know bubble stone so okay now let me show you something else let me connect again the two colors and we will see how uh, smooth the transition can be done with uh, both the colors so we earlier had a green color uh, and what we need right now is uh, a divide node so connect this with a and again we would require a single vector again these uh, connect this with the alpha uh, so here we will put some figure some figure in the sense that uh, the amount of the distance and uh, the difference will be quite smooth the transition not the difference the transition would be and uh, the transition would be quite smooth so here we are so you can see that you know uh, the change from blue to green is not abrupt so there are a couple of uh, other colors which is coming up and uh, some other colors are getting diffused so you can see there it was quite abrupt now let us see how there is a third uh, way to do it okay for that we need uh, something called clamp okay so here we are and uh, reconnect all these 
okay now see how does it work okay uh, i think it is not giving the desirable effect uh, so it remains the same so i think we need to change the colors possibly yes okay so let me try it uh, is it happening over here no it's not happening so what we are actually looking forward for is uh, not two three colors it would be a single color i mean the let me uh, just uh, add on a couple of more okay not 10000 maybe 1000 will do okay fine so uh, let me save it okay here here we are so in this uh, by the addition of this clump you know where uh, it does its own calculation it will not reflect you know too many colors it will be a transition from red to green and throughout the mess this color will be visible so you can see now there are only a single color at any given point of time it will be a single color so we have seen there are the two colors abruptly changing we have seen that you know two colors and there are multiple colors during the transition and the last one is uh a direct conversion of red to green anyway that's it for this video thank you